green flag at Talladega. Hendrick Camaro's first, second, and fourth as William Byron and Joey Logano bring them to the line to complete lap one. Well, I hope he sensed that it was going to change real quick because <laughs> that outside lane has been broken up, and now the inside. Oh, no. oh man, Kyle Larson, Regan. Well, Jeff, to update Kyle Larson's situation, you see the engine right there. He came on the radio, said it is blowing up. But when they came down pit road the first time, there is a sheet of metal that was in between the radiator and where the air comes into the race car. Looks like that may have got left in there over transportation. Wow. I've so we, seen that on a dirt program. You know, we've done that. You use the shield to help warm the cars up so it doesn't get any air in it. You're trying to get some temperature and oil and things like that. If you forget to take that out, that's exactly what can happen. Well, that's a huge mistake, and that is part of not having practice, right? When you show up here, you've got to have that checklist to make sure you get every single detail for that car to line up and get on pit road to start this race. He did. He went backwards because he chose the oh, oh, yeah, he's he's gonna... wrecking. Joy Logano, Hamlin, and Logano, and Keselowski is in it. Boy, it's just scary. Anytime that air gets underneath that car, gets it airborne like that, thankful to see that car get back on four wheels and not see have a moving around, moving grabbing around. The, grabbing the wind net there. That's a good sign. Good sign. Look at how it almost peeled that roof back. Oh, heavy Ricky damage Stenhouse. to Ricky Stenhouse, who had a fast car today. Well, we talk about how aggressive some of these guys get at the end of these stages. So the stage ends under caution. Logano was called in on the radio saying he is okay. So now look how they're all stacked up. They're all bumper to bumper to bumper. Yeah, but look at the 11. He moves down to try to go on the bottom, gets turned, turns him into the Joey Logano. And then, Jeff, we've all felt it. That silence. When that car goes over, it gets really, really quiet. Not a fun sound. And you have no idea if that car is just going to start rolling and continuing to roll or if it's going to settle down. Luckily, that's what it did. Let's use the Goodyear aerial coverage, see if we can see how this started. Okay, so there's the push of the 22 by the 11. Watch the 47 get to the rear bumper of the 11. Right here, that's that sandwich we talk about. And when Denny stepped out, the 47 was still connected. And that little bit of contact is what turned Denny into the 22 of Logano. Right along. This doesn't With even Bubba. seem real to me. This is like a video game. <laughs> real to Bubba. Woo! Real close. Look out! Wow. Ricochets off that rear window. And very little damage to the 23, however. Uh, just a little bit peeling little up there stretch. on the roof and the right windshield post. So I can have that sitting on the lot. Ah, slick one over, just a little bit of damage. What happened right here? Hey. Joey Logano yeah. landed on me. <laughs> Only driven on Sunday for 200 miles. Well, here's Team 23. Your in car is pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. he's like, listen, I, I experienced it in real life. So I know how impressive it was. Yeah. So how did that wreck happen? Let's ride along first, Denny Hamlin. Yeah, Denny's getting a big push from behind with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And I don't know if he just was pushed so hard that he had to step out or he just tried to make that move at that moment. And then he did, it turned him. Kevin Harvick. <laughs> That's as close oh, as it gets right there. Brad Keselowski looks like he has this missed. He does everything right. He sees it happen. He moves down the apron, gets on the brake, slows the car down, avoids the wreck. But unfortunately, somebody comes off the bacon and collects him. 
But no damage to his car and Bubba Wallace. Yeah, this is the one I like. I mean, you want to talk about in your face. Look at this. This is an automobile coming at you. you DoorDash is a sponsor, man. DoorDash me some new underwear. I got a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that was close. And it's More only close. That was contact. It's only the end of stage one. It's just, oh, oh Denny in the outside wall. There's that risk assessment. Man, Hendrick just cars, up. all three Hendrick cars that are left of this field. That was a, up. a big block. Stacked them all up, turned them around. Uh, that wasn't a question of if, it was a matter of I when. I was just about to say, one more lap to have a wreck, and then it started. Truex got into the wall. Hamlin, crush panels pushed in. Byron. Nine car Chase Elliott, that's as fast as I've ever seen anybody go backwards rolling. <laughs> Did a great job of keeping that thing straight and out of the wall. See this big run on the top, yeah. And watch the, this block of Brad. Wait, oh boy, yeah. So Denny's teammate oh. of Truex was trying to push him, but when Brad moved up in that outside lane, then that stacked up Denny, and he had to move left to right, and then that's when the rear bumper of the night uh, uh, on Denny hooked the front bumper of Truex. That's what you see right there. Turns Denny into that outside lane. Or uh, out the William, outside wall. William Byron down into his teammate, Alex Bowman. And below him was Chase Elliott. Riding with Hamlin. You can hear the RPMs pick up. And the stage ends under caution. Bubba Wallace picks up his first ever stage win. Four wide through the tri-oval mid-pack. White flag in the air. Next flag in the oh, race. Oh, no. Matt he D gave went up, up on his plan. Now you got Brad Keselowski. He's got the uh, he's got heck the, of a push on the, on the back of him. The man with the plan, Brad Keselowski, has Michael McDowell in tow. And then Kevin Harvick. Here comes a big run from the eight. Tyler Reddick's, oh, but he's not going to oh. push the 12. There, That's going to do that's it for Brad Keselowski if, on that inside lane. I'm not saying he's got the win. Now the 34 and the 4 got to get lined up. Look at Eric Jones. Eric Jones. Oh, four and a half to go. We talked about right there. That Jones boy up into fourth. Oh, Kevin Harvick Chris, with the Chris run. Chris Butcher back there. He's, he's wrecking. He's oh. in the wall. Big run 17 in the McDowell. wall, but here they come. What's McDowell going to do? Down oh. to the finish. One car turned in the fence. Keslowski, the leader. To the outside comes McDowell, and Brad Keslowski <laughs> wins Talladega as one car goes sliding, Ross spinning, Gassi and slamming the into the inside wall. Man, that was wild. Looks like a left rear tire went down on Eric Jones. Big impact with the left front of Chastain into that safer barrier. Pass to start finish line. Hello, everybody. Professor, you call me. Did a hell of a job right here. Yes, you did, brother. That was awesome. Great job, man. 35th career win for Keslowski. He won at Richmond last fall. First one of the season, another different winner. Turn three. Well, I mean, they're wrecking behind. You get to see that Chris Busher gets in the wall, but the, a big run was coming from a push from William Byron to the 34 McDowell as they're still spinning and wrecking into the wall, Eric Jones. But the race was not over, the caution was not out. I think, you know, this is going to be one that Matt, Matty D is going to want to have over because he moved up to block that outside lane, come to take the white flag, and the run was coming on the inside from Keslowski. Fred Keslowski saluting the fans one more time. Your patented American flag victory celebration, Brad. You only led one lap today. It was really the only lap that mattered, though. What were you thinking when the bottom opened up on that last lap? Merry Christmas, Regan. <laughs> you know, um, man, what, a, what an awesome uh, day today to bring the money line home, uh, Ford Mustang into victory lane. Uh, just, you know, the whole race had a couple opportunities to take the lead, but I just kept thinking, man, just keep your car in one piece for the end. And uh, you know, we've been so close here, Regan. It just didn't seem to want to come together here over the last few years. I've been on kind of a four-year drought here, but uh, it's nice to get number six. I would have never dreamed I'd have tied Jeff Gordon or Darren Hart Jr. here. That's uh, something, man. Those guys are really legends, so just really proud of my team. We had accident there early, and, and they recovered and uh, got it fixed up to where I could keep running, and 
Uh, my crew chief, Jeremy Bowens, he had a lot of confidence. I told him, I want to come in and put four tires on this thing. He said, go ahead. And uh, that really helped a bunch at the end. And other than that, I'm just so excited. My daughters and my wife are here. They're in the motorhome lot, so I don't know if they'll get to come to Victor Lane, but they finally got to see Daddy win, so that's pretty cool. You, you got coming down the front straightaway, your spotter Coleman Presley telling you all the perfect moves to make. Were you aware how big the run they had at that point was? Oh, yeah, I saw it coming. I was like, oh, God, please, just if I can just get to this line, couldn't they just put it on the other side like Daytona? But uh, no, it was a, that's their job. Everybody's just racing hard, pushing hard, and that's Tell Day. Nicely done, Brad. Congrats. Thanks, buddy.